Hey friends, my name is Oleg, this is Mr. Bond, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to do a full review of Phoebus Eagle Ray GMT. A couple of things I gotta mention before we get started. Number one, I have to apologize for making this video so late. I've been sick with the flu for the last couple of weeks. By the way, flu would not recommend, I give it one star. This watch here is pretty good. However, it is sold out on their website and that's why I have to apologize. So if you're still interested in this watch after watching this review, you can go on Phoebus website and uh, sign up for a notification list. So whenever this watch comes back in stock, you'll be notified and you can buy it then. I should also let you know that Phoebus did provide this watch for this review for free and we get to keep it. Of course, that's not going to affect the review in any way. However, I guess take everything we say with a grain of salt. Phoebus now also offers promo codes. Our promo code is Mr. Bond. When you use that promo code, when you check out, you will receive 10% off of your order and we will receive a small kickback. Now, the idea was to use that kickback, whatever we would get for the month of January and donate it. You okay, buddy? And donate it to Australia Wildlife Fund to help our animal friends. I'm sure you know that there is bad situation happening there, a lot of bushfires, so a lot of animals have died, a lot of animals lost their habitat. So we wanted to do our small part and help in any way possible. However, since the watch is sold out, we can't really do that, can we? So instead we're just gonna take uh, like $30, $50 of our own money and donate anyways. I know it's not a lot of money, but uh, hopefully that will help in some way. Now let's talk about this watch and let's review this watch. Let's start with the case dimensions first. So the watch has a diameter of 41 millimeters. It's 47 and a half millimeters from one lug to another. It has a 20 millimeter lug width and it's 12 millimeters thick. Here's what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. I think it wears true to its size, 41 millimeters. It wears about as you would expect a 41 millimeter watch to wear. It doesn't wear larger, it doesn't wear smaller. It is a fairly comfortable watch with the lightweight of 84 grams. And I'm happy to report that these two crowns, one at the two o'clock position, the one at the four o'clock position, don't dig into your wrist at all. The watch also has a fairly slim profile of 12 millimeters, so it should have no problem sliding under the cuff of your shirt or a jacket. Now let's talk about what exactly is this watch. Obviously, it's a GMT watch, but I think the intent behind this watch, why Phoebus made this watch, was to create an affordable traveler's watch. The watch that you would take with you on vacations, the watch that you would take with you on your travels, and I think, for the most part, they have succeeded with that intent. The biggest hurdle that they have to overcome is the movement of this watch. So it's not an automatic timepiece, it's not a mechanical timepiece, it is a quartz watch powered by Swiss Ronda 515-24H movement. And now, of course, in this price point, there aren't too many GMT automatic options. I mean, we could talk about the cheap AliExpress alternatives like Courget and Parnese, both of these watches do have automatic GMT movements and from my experience they were fairly accurate and uh, somewhat reliable, however the long term reliability is still uncertain and if I was only bringing one watch for travel, uh, one of those watches wouldn't necessarily be the watch of choice for me. Uh, if you watched my travel videos before, the watches that I bring with me on vacations, I usually bring my Omega Seamaster Quartz. I like to have a quartz watch on travels because it's reliable, it's accurate, and I never have to worry about winding it. If I leave it on a hotel desk for a while, come back and it will still be ticking. So that's just me personally, but I know that a lot of people don't like quartz watches, and that's totally fine. I mean, there's so many other watches to like, so if you're not buying this watch because it's quartz, I totally understand it, totally get it. Hopefully you will still enjoy the review anyways. However, if you're still interested, despite this watch being quartz, well, I have some good news for you. It's actually a pretty good watch. It has a stainless steel case with a brushed finish, also has some polished finishes for the bezel and the bezel ring. I like that play between the polished and the brushed finishes. It gives it a little bit of shine. It also reflects the light uh, really well from these two crowns, the one at the two o'clock position. Well, that's the crown that operates the inner rotating bezel. It is a screw down crown helping with that 300 meters of water resistance. So to operate the bezel, all you have to do is you unscrew it as such. And once the bezel is fully unscrewed, you can operate the bezel and it's bi-directional, meaning it turns in both directions. Once you selected the position that you are satisfied with, you simply push the crown in and you screw it into place. 
the crown at the 4 o'clock position, well that's the crown that powers the movement and we already talked about the movement. Both crowns are well executed, they have good gnarling, good grip and are both signed with Phoebus logo. They're both polished finish so it gives it a nice contrast between the case and the crown finishes. The case back is a simple screw down case back, not much. Uh, on the case back, there's not any crazy engravings or anything like that. It just has a few different time zones for your reference in case you're traveling, it's easier to set your watch to a different time zone and Phoebus written in the middle. That's about it. It has a nice domed piece of sapphire crystal with three layers of AR coating applied. And I say apply even more layers. This watch is not easy watch to film. It reflects camera, it reflects my face like crazy. So you can tell that this design, the Eagle Ray Phoebus design, really needs more AR coating. Speaking of the design, I really love the way this watch looks. I think Phoebus nailed it. Uh, this is, I believe, their third Eagle Ray iteration of the design. They had their original Eagle Ray, which I loved. Then they had the Eagle Ray Bronze, which I thought was even better. And now they have the Eagle Ray GMT, which I quite like. It's an attractive watch to look at. So it comes in a few different color combinations. My favorite is probably this baby blue color. However, the one they sent me is the green to black gradient. And this color is also very attractive. It has all applied indices, nice syringe style hands. The hands reach out all the way out to the hour marks and to the minute running track. So the minute running track is kind of a railroad track with uh, Roman numerals inside of it. It also has that inner GMT bezel. Pop of color on the GMT hand. GMT and 300 meters of water resistance written by the 6 o'clock position. The giant octopus logo, the giant Phoebus logo by the 12 o'clock position. A point of controversy for a lot of people. Some people love it, some people hate it. I don't mind it, but I understand if you don't like it. And there's also a date window at the 3 o'clock position. Now, uh, the date window is a bit puzzling to me. I wish they made it in black color or a green color to match the background of the dial. I think that would be a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I know it's a small detail. The loom on the watch is great. It has 12 different layers of BGW9. Uh, here's a shot for you. Even the bezel is loomed. Uh, this loom has a nice blue hue to it. Nice and evenly applied. I have no complaints about this loom at all. So what do I think about this Eagle Ray GMT? I really like it. I think Phoebus have a winner on their hand and clearly they do because the watch is sold out online. I think whatever they're trying to achieve with this watch, they achieved. They're trying to create a tough traveler's watch and that's exactly how I see this timepiece. Great loom, 300 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, a reliable movement although it is quartz still reliable, a fairly affordable price. It comes on a, a rubber strap. It's a Tropic rubber strap. We've seen the straps on previous Eagle Ray models. It's a good safe choice for a sports watch. However, I will say this. I would love to see a watch in Eagle Ray line on a stainless steel bracelet. I think that would look great and it would be a great improvement to the design. Uh, the second thing that I want to mention, this one is kind of small. It's not really a negative. It's just an observation that I made. So this watch, when you buy it, it comes in a standard Phoebus box. It doesn't come in one of their travel boxes. In my opinion, kind of a missed opportunity because this is a traveler's watch. So why not include it in the travel style case? I don't know, just something that I noticed. Overall, I do like the watch. It gets thumbs up from me. It would get bigger thumbs up if it was an automatic GMT watch. However, then it would cost a lot more, of course. So maybe that's in the future. If you are listening, Phoebus, that would be great to see. Uh, Eagle Ray automatic GMT watch on a stainless steel bracelet with the same quality, that would be amazing. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss more videos like this in the future. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this Phoebus Eagle Ray GMT. By the way, today on my wrist I'm wearing Boulder Venture. I did a full review of this field watch. That video can be found on the YouTube channel. I will also leave it linked in the description below. Also in the description below, there are two other links. The first link is to Bond NATO Straps. If you're looking for a good quality NATO strap and want to support this YouTube channel at the same time, buying one of these NATO straps is a good way to do so. And the second link is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What's this? What is this? You have a toy? 
What kind of toy is this? You have a new friend? <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>